Hey guys, over here. Welcome back to another raid challenge video. Prince Kymer is finally a champion in my roster of champions. Finally got him after so long, guys. I built him out almost immediately and then put him into one of my teams. I'll showcase not only him, but I'll showcase Armiger once again. Armiger, the god of the dungeons at 20, uh, where I used him in, I think, all four of the dungeons that I did with all uncommon so I've, if you don't know already guys I have a series of videos where I've beaten dungeons 20 back when we had those at the maximum level I beat them all with uncommons so that was really cool and now I actually have an armager showcase here on level 25 of the dragon look at my armager right here he's not even at 100% crit because he doesn't need to he is strong affinity versus that dragon 25 so 88% crit is more than enough and I actually can drop that even more because I will be using Battle Khazar in one of the teams. Uh, 193 speed there, 254 crit damage in a relentless set. Uh, you can use Reflex if you want to for Armager. Obviously, you want to get his A2 there to do as many turns as possible. So you have the Relentless the or Refresh, uh, refresh, gear, refresh Accessories, and then the Reflex Gear or Relentless Gear. It really depends on what you want. I also have Warmaster there instead of anything else. So I get that nice max HP damage that he can do. Um, I could have gone defense maybe because the dragon can attack. And then in that way you get like a counter attack possibly going. So you can get some Warmaster procs. But um, I, I left him in the support round that I used to have him before. Uh, although I don't really use his accuracy anywhere for this specific build. Let's go see the run in action. And let me do... an. Uh, unlimited frames run which is a little bit faster and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean so let's go over to dragon's lair and you'll you'll see what I'll talk about look at uh, this this is a, a double armager team I'll show you guys that in a bit let's go over this team first this is the one armager team if you don't have uh, battle Khazar you can still probably do it with a Lydia and um, instead of um, in, instead of this guy, Ghostborn, you can use somebody else with more poison so you can get the dragon down faster. Uh, that's why the other team has two, um, two Armagers. But let's see the one Ar Armager team in action. And you guys can see his power, uh, well, both Kymer's power as well because he does the reset and helps uh, my Seer melt through. This is a very basic combo of the Seer melting the waves. Ghostborn is always used because of that unresistible ignore defense. And now here's the big... Um, Important thing, you need to see Armiger. Look at that, 221,000. And that's without a defense down. So now that we have a defense down plus poisons from Kymar, I should see the maximum, which is 440,000, somewhere there. Uh, we get the refresh procs there. We're trying to see if we can get the um, the maximum. Uh, the lowest speed that I did this run was 45 seconds, I think. The maximum this went was, I think, over a minute. So it, it can vary depending on the RNG procs. But look at that. 47 seconds with Armager right there. So happy with this uh, with this kind of team. Armager definitely helps here because um, of his A2 having such a low cooldown of two turns. And he does damage based on max health. Now that it's capped on Dungeons 25, um, well, Ar Armager has really taken a big spot in terms of his damage potential. So uh, let's let's see this double armager team actually. Let's go over and see how this does. Uh, this is not as good, I want to say, because the armagers are a little bit squishy. So without the the um, the heals over time plus the cleanse for battle Khazar, there can be some failures. So that's why I'm, I prefer to use the other team instead of this one. Uh, although they are strong affinity, they still get hit quite a lot because... I haven't optimized their builds 100% for this kind of run. I just went in there, straight up the damage numbers that I wanted to. Uh, above 85% crit rate. Good critical damage with the Relentless gear. Wasn't looking at all for... Look at that. So Seer died here. So my potential for damage goes down. Um, you know, a reset would, would have given me a little bit more damage. Look at that. Double armager going. Boom. Kaimar, not even 100% crit. So he can land those... Uh, poisons one of the armagers is down this might actually even be a fail look at that damage I need to get I need to get another one from armager I need to get his a2 again I should get it now boom there it is 
So one minute and two, you saw how close this close this was. That's why I don't really like this run. Instead, let's go for another run and we'll see it in action. I'll show you guys the gear of everyone just to have an idea of what everyone else has. Uh, the Prince Chimer obviously is with a ton of speed. He's the fastest of them all. Uh, so this one, my seer couldn't land this. Probably I got to resist on Lydia. Um, like even at 350 accuracy, she still get resisted. I don't know how how the game works anymore. It's 3%, but it feels so much higher on level 25s um, to get a resist. So look at that army gear, 434, extra turn, look at that. Uh, the other one got the refresh gear working. There's a Karma Burn already. We're at 50% on the boss, 37 seconds. Look at that, 434 plus the War Master. Going again, you get a reset, they'll go back in, boom. Boom, the Karma Burn should go so close here for an under a minute run. And there it is, 53 seconds. Obviously, obviously that was very close. Uh, that's why I said I like the other team better. But let's go and see the uh, champions here uh, so that you can uh, you can see their gear more in detail. So here is first my Lydia, the Death Siren. She is in a, a shield set, definitely helps in terms of the buffs that Tyr can use to nuke out. She's got 434 accuracy because I use her in the Doom Tower too. Uh, 262 speed. Masteries, I go for the extra accuracy instead of War Master for extra little bit of damage. I could have done that instead. Probably make the runs a little bit faster. But um, this is a build on her. Ideally, you want to have the, the shield ring as well. The Blood Shield. Uh, is it called Blood Shield? I think it's called Blood Shield. And uh, let's see, who do I have it on? I had only one. Yeah, Blood Shield Ring. I have it on, on my um, on my Ghostborn. Let's go and see uh, who's next. Who's next in the legendaries here? Uh, it's Prince Kaimar, of course. I have him in an immunity set. It's not needed, but because I'll be using him for PvP purposes, I had him in an immunity set. Um, he needs to be fastest of them all. And on the custom AI, of course, other than having the armature ai being he always uses his a2 first you also need to have prince Kaimer to use his a1 or, or a2 at the beginning of the round uh for the first time because he he would use his reset if you don't do that so 264 he's the fastest of them all 500 accuracy that's not needed for dungeons but that's what i have at the moment uh very rough build i will be optimizing it soon and support route here for the extra accuracy obviously again war master 100 crit are ideal for PvE Kaimar. So this one's a PvP Kaimar. PvE Kaimar is a little bit different, but the idea still stands. You need the reset. All right. Uh, let's look at let's have a look at my battle Kazar, which I used on the first team. So uh, 248 speed, 267 accuracy. He's got good resist, but that's not really needed. 60,000 health. Uh, obviously, all of these champions are maxed out. And I've been running him with extra resist for uh, more solo builds for the Ice Golem. So this kind of build also helps for the Ice Golem. High resist, high health, high speed, uh, enough accuracy, but not really enough for Doom Tower. So 260 is not really enough for Doom Tower to do it all comfortably. And then I did show the, the armor. Just let me just show you both again. Just so that we are... Uh, in line, so I did show this guy 193, 88% crit, 254 crit damage, um, and War Master, and it's almost an identical build on the other one, but just a little bit worse gear, I think. 91% uh, crit, 240, 184 speed, so that's that's kind of of the lower end in terms of uh, the speed that I could have had on them. I didn't even run them through the raid gear optimizer on Hell Hades website. I could have done that, but I was just uh, playing through with Kaimar and just uh, enjoying the the reset champion that I have finally So here's my second armager and then finally uh, Is my seer which is the best gear that I have and on honestly I use her for a lot of dungeon farming. She has three pieces That's rare two epics and then only one legendary. That's five stars. So still a rough build but 100% crit 275 crit damage 202 speed. She got a little bit of a boost through faction guardians 258 on accuracy, although she doesn't need it for Dragon specifically, she needs it for Doomtar. So that's her build, and obviously I went with um, War Master here for extra little bit of damage on bosses. But if you're lacking in damage, you can go 
uh, with flawless execution or you can go with health smasher but that's very rng and can make uh, variable runs so your runs will not all be consistent uh, since sometimes you'll be ignoring the defense others you won't so if you are always depending your runs on ignoring the defense you won't have a good time so this was the video guys uh, thanks a lot for watching subscribe if you haven't already <laughs> if you guys can see on the top right i did use all my gems to try to get a draco more i couldn't get him uh, since yesterday's summons that's it, I guess. That's it. Being unlucky. So many shards pulled this weekend. For me, a lot of spending that I've done since a long time for raid. But I, I really wanted to go for Dracomar. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.